Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about policy issues for Google Shopping. Uh, now, when a lot of uh, new Shopify entrepreneurs start their store, um, they don't give a lot of thought uh, to policies and this can lead to their account being suspended from Google Shopping. Right? It's not just about uh, uh, syncing your product data to Google Merchant Center. Uh, Google wants every website that is enrolled into Google Shopping to follow um, certain checks, right? And a lot of times people overlook these checks. And I want to quickly show you guys what are those uh, basic checks that you need to do for your store as well. First thing is to have a, a contact us page, right? You can have a contact here as well. Um, and there are a few things that you need to ha definitely have in your contact us page that is email ID and phone number, right? An address is uh, actually highly recommended, right? This is a test store uh, for us, so we don't have a address, but uh, if you are a Shopify business, add email, phone number, as well as address. Contact information, uh, if you do not have contact information that is easily accessible, Google will uh, disapprove your account and they will uh, um, uh, you know, suspend your account. Uh, a simple form wouldn't suffice all, uh, as well, right? A lot of customers uh, or a lot of Shopify stores have just a uh, contact us form. That is also not sufficient. You need to have an email ID and a phone number, preferably address as well. Other uh, things which are very important is to have a, a very well-defined refund and re return policy as well as a terms of service uh, uh, policy. I, I, as you can see, I have both of these uh, pages here, right? This is the return policy. Or, uh, it also has the shipping policy along with it. Uh, refunds, how it is processed. All of that is there in this uh, return policy. Um, you need to cover uh, these, uh, these points in your uh, policy page. Another thing is the terms of service. Um, who, uh, how are you using the data, etc., etc., uh, is uh, displayed here. Now, this might seem overwhelming, right? Uh, I mean, you, do we need a lawyer to write these documents? Actually not. Shopify makes it extremely easy to generate these uh, uh, pages. Let me quickly show you how to do that. So click on settings in your store and click on legal. So this particular page has ready-made custom templates uh, for all your uh, policy needs, right? There's a refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy, all of these can be very easily created. You just need to click on create from template and change the uh, information uh, where, you know, it's very obvious, right? Where you have to change these information as well. Now, um, this is definitely not uh, uh, the recommended one. The recommended one is you uh, talk with a lawyer and come up with uh, these uh, suggestions. But if you do not have access to a lawyer, this can be a good start. Now, creating these policies is not enough, right? This has to be easily accessible. So if you uh, go back, you can see that all of these policies are very easily accessible uh, from the links below. So you need to add these uh, links. And to do that, click on online store, click on navigation, and click on the footer menu. Click on the I have already added it, so let's say I have uh, removed terms of service, right? And I'm going to add it again. So I would just click here, click on policies, click on terms of service, and click on add. So add your contact us page, add your refund policy, add your terms of service. If you have a different page for uh, return policy, add that particular page as well. Uh, it is highly recommended to add a shipping policy as well. Yeah. If you add all of these pages, your uh, website should look, look something like this. And there is a very high chance that your uh, um, website will be approved for uh, Google Shopping as well. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any queries, please let us know. Uh, we can create more videos like this. Thank you.